Time for some no dumb questions because there's no such thing as dumb questions, just dumb people. No dumb hey. questions is uh, brought to you by Uncrustables. That's right, Uncrustables is the best part of the sandwich. Nobody loves crust, they only kind of like it. All righty, from Lexus8685. Interesting uh, name there. All right. We've actually got a football no dumb question about the Chiefs special teams coordinator, Dave Tobe. Shout out to Dave Tobe. Coach Tobe. Looks like Jeff Quinn, kind of. It's our assistant head coach right there. I love that guy. Dave Tobe uh, commenting on the new NFL kickoff rule, which is um, it's interesting. A very interesting kickoff rule that we necessarily we, we I think initially we were like, ah, we don't love this. This is it's taking away from the ceremonial kickoff and like the feeling in the beginning of the game. But I mean, if it's going to be. Better for the game, less injuries and stuff like that. I guess I'm kind of in on it. I just, I know, uh, I, I like kind of like the old school game that I grew up watching and playing, I guess. I don't know. But did we say we didn't like it? I did. Basically, Coach Tobe mentioned that the Chiefs have considered not using Harrison Bucker for all kickoffs. Obviously, it's not because Harrison can't do it. Um, he's one of right. the best guys in the league at doing it. He's got one of the best legs in the game. Um, typically kicks it into the like stands through the end zone right. uh, when he does kick off. But Coach Tobe said that the new kickoff rules um, has kickers more involved in tackles and they don't want uh, necessarily want Bucker um, to be put in those types of situations. Interesting. I think he's he's considering this because we have a guy, a guy being Justin Reed, who's kicked a field goal before, made a field goal. He has a great leg. And he just so happens to be one of our best tacklers on the team. Yeah. So I think he's considering letting uh, Justin Reed do it. Isn't that uh, that um, rugby Zemet? Isn't he doing it too? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't really been peeking Luis over at the Zemet uh, or whatever. Yeah, Luis. Um, I haven't been Luis. I believe. <laughs> I don't think it's Luis. We keep thinking it's, it's pronounced Reese. I think it's. Is it Reese Zemet? Louis Riss. It's like. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember his name. Yeah, uh, Lewis. Uh, so, yeah, he, they, they both might be doing it, but I know that Justin Reed would be considered as the guy as of right now because he's a defensive player and he's, he tackles. So, All right. The new kickoff rules are as follows. The kickoff remains at the 35-yard line, but the remaining 10 players on the kickoff unit start on the opposing 40-yard line. They are five feet away, five yards away from uh, the front line of the opposing return team. Oh, at least seven players are in that setup zone, a five yard area. So yeah, it, all of this is aimed at a way of actually making kickoffs meaningful, which I am a big fan of. I think football is better when special teams matter. The reality is the old kickoff was not a kickoff. It was a ceremonial, you know, boot through the end zone and nobody ever returned anything. I like seeing special teams make an impact in the game. You think this is going to get people to return the football more? Yeah, that's why they put it in effect. Absolutely. I thought they just put it in effect so that it would reduce the collisions that happen. Well, I think that's part of it. That's how they're that's how they're finding a way to get the ball to be returned in a safer manner. So part of it is they want to make it safer for the people so they're not letting them have 40 yard head starts running at each other. It's fucking net electric. Positive, net it's positive. fucking Listen. electric. One day we're going to dig into the, some, some of this George! old school wedge footage. We got the teach tape now. We got to dig, dig up some old school wedge freaking content. Lock it in, but boys. Go! No longer is uh, the barbaric nature. <laughs> the barbaric nature of uh, kickoff is now done. But that's why I like football, because it is barbaric. Gosh. I agree, but we're... Listen, oh, man, times are changing. We're moving on to times safer things. Times are changing. <laughs> we got kickers that need to make tackles now in this new one, which I'm a fan of. Make kickers tackle again is my new rule. <laughs> um, I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, I, th so they want everybody. I can't wants wait to see Jake. Kickoff. I can't wait to see Jake have to fill the fucking three and four. Yeah, if, if listen, Jake. <laughs> Let's not make Jake tackle. Let's not make Jake tackle. Let's go, Bo P. Jake's good at a lot of things. Tackling is not one of them. Let's not make Jake tackle. Come on, Jake. You got to stick your face in the fan, bub. Yeah, part of a big reason this rule got put in was, one, to reduce the dangerous nature of those frontline players and the 
kickoff return, kickoff in general. But two, it was also to put in put in something in place where they are returned more often. Yes, there should be more kickoff returns with these rules. Oh wow! All right, so here's some here's some cool rules though. This is actually interesting. These rules right here are going to be why teams are going to have to return the ball. So kickoffs yeah. that hit in the landing zone, so not in the end zone before the goal line, must be returned. That's always been in play. Kickoffs that hit in the landing zone and then go into the end zone must be returned or downed by the receiving team. If downed, the receiving team would get the ball on its own 20-yard line. Right now, yep. if you if the ball goes through the end zone or a guy catches the ball in the end zone, it goes to the 25. It's back to the original touchback rule. But – you can only do it if it goes directly into the end zone or if it bounces and rolls into the end zone. Yeah. Which was always the rule. Yeah. So that's crazy. Kickoffs that go into the end zone and stay in bounds that are downed would give the receiving team the ball at their own 30 yard line. Oh, wow. That's wild. Kickoffs that go out of the back of the end zone in the air. So that's what's or on the bounces true. would also be a touchback. At the receiving team's thirty yard line. So, so if the ball goes into the end zone on the fly, 30. 30 yard line. That's wild. Whether it's downed or through the back, which is that's a that's a hell of a starting point. So teams are going to not be kicking it into the end zone. No, I can see teams maybe even squibbing it. Yeah, just squibbing that thing, dude. Just let that thing bounce around. The ball isn't the ball is shaped awkward. That thing bouncing around is like maybe that's why they're letting you know Justin Reed and. Zemet tried this out because it's like, hey, just just kick that sucker on the ground. Yeah, let that thing make f- him field it. Yeah, make him make him field that <laughs> dude. You, All right. So well, one now of the I'm things interested. that's interesting. Now I'm interested. One of the things that's that's interesting is that I you have to declare if you're doing an onside kick. Yeah, well, that's the only yeah that's the only time so, you you get to say you're no, yeah. but usually on a kickoff, like it's a question. If yeah. you get if the ball goes past ten yards, like it's live. Like, if you squib this and it goes, if you guys somehow, if the offensive team somehow recovers it, do they get possession? You know what I'm saying? No, it definitely, uh, there has to be a rule of, it has to go past, like, your players if you don't, if you're not doing an onside kick. Have they stipulated that yet? Yeah, it has to be. There's no way there. That's, I would, I would assume that's implied. That's like the 10 yard rule. The 10 yard rule is just further down the field. When are the frontline guys allowed to initiate, like, start? Is when it once the ball's it's touched. them or once it's kicked? Once it's touched, I believe. You mean kicked or, like, touched as in, like, the offensive team touching it? Once the receiving team touches the football, touches, that's when it starts. Then they can go? Yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, this is going to be electric. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of into it. I can't wait to watch that. I think this is a great – I think this is a good rule change. I think it's a good rule change, NFL. I think it gives us a cool, like, look at, like, returns. And but at the same time, I just love that forty yard head start. You could get your head fucking taken off, dude. It's the best. We're, we're gonna miss uh, fullbacks on the wedge getting decapitated and decapitating. <laughs> we're gonna miss those ambush blocks where be, guys running from one side of the field. Play. I do think it's a net positive in the NFL when special teams is more important. There's a whole dynamic of the game that teams now have to account for when making roster decisions. Yeah. There used to be guys where like, you know, all they were on the team for was because they were great at special teams and they could offer value in that category. They were fearless in a situation like this. And it feels like more and more special teams just was getting more and more devalued. And this is something that hopefully will bring back the, uh, the mentality and the ability of some guys that might not fit on offense and defense, but are great football players because of special teams, maybe they'll start to get that value increased more because of stuff like this, which I like. To all the NFL fans, it'll be something fun to watch in the preseason uh, as it gets going. I'm sure it'll be implemented in the season, but I, I know they're uh, they're testing it out right now in the uh, in the preseason. And if you want to check it out, the XFL is doing it right now. There we go. Go and uh, throw on one of those games. Those are always uh, exciting games to watch. And I'm not joking. That wasn't a, I do love watching XFL games. All right. That does it for No Dumb Questions brought to you by Uncrustables. How about that? Hey. Uncrustables is the best part of the sandwich. Fuck crust. Hey.